we're going to be learning about goods and services. And we've been talking a lot about economics. Can anyone tell me what economics is? We've been learning about that the past couple weeks. Um, is it goods? Yeah, and services. Well, yeah, yeah. that's what we're going to be talking about today, but I know last week we were talking about whether something's a need or a want. Oh, yeah. So if you need something to live versus if you really want something, but you can survive without Like it. ice cream. Yeah, like you really want ice cream, but, but do you need ice cream to live? No. no. You might think you do, but no, you don't <laughs> need that. So economics is based on the idea of things called goods and things called services. And we're going to use our smart thinking when we're reading. I'm going to be circling words that help me think of what we're talking about. So I'm going to use green for goods, green and goods. And then what color should I use for services? Red. Red, okay. Because the words are blue. That's true. We need to be able to see so we can keep track of our reading. Okay. So economics is based around the idea of goods and services. A large portion of people's money is spent on goods and services. So we have to figure out what's the difference between the two of them because they're not the same thing. So now we're going to look at what is a good. When you think of the word good, what does that make you think of? Like when Allison is being good in class? Yeah. I get something usually for being good, like a sticker. Yeah. You're actually along the right track. A good is something you can use or consume. Consume is we're eating something or we're drinking something. So these are some examples of a good. We have bread, that's something you eat. Television, that's something you use. Books, which you can read, and that's something you're using, you're using time. Or a car. And you can buy a good, and we've been talking about money and how things are worth money, and you pay money to get something. You buy a good, there's our word good again. Wait, when, Ms. Kristen, Ms. Yes. Kristen, I'm sorry. I thought good was when I'm being a good student or, like, when you're being a good teacher and when Allison's being a good student. You know what, Al, you know, Lydia, that's a great point. Good is one of our words that has two meanings. Oh. So we can have good as a feeling, like, I'm feeling really good today, or I behaved good, I was a really good listener, or a good is something you can have. Okay. So my book bag, I can be good, like I was really good in school today, but then my book bag can also be good. It is. It's a good because you're using it. So oh. somebody, your mom or your dad, they paid for your backpack. And you oh. use it when you come to school, and then you're good. I know it can get a little confusing, but a lot of our words have more than one meaning. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can buy a good with the idea you're going to use it, because like we said, you use it, or you consume it, so you eat it, or drink it, or some other way you use it. You can use it just once, or over and over again. So, something you can use just once, say you bought a bag of chips down in the cafeteria. Once you eat that, is it still there? No, no it's, it's in, in your, your tummy! tummy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's already gone. But then, let's think of something you could use more than once, like your backpack. I use my pen exactly. every day. Your pen is something you can use over and over. So a good is a tangible item. That's one of our big words. I'm going to circle that in black because that's a word I don't think we've talked about yet. Tangible, I'm going to draw a little arrow here so we can have a meaning. Tangible means something you can touch. Oh. So a good is a tangible item, something tangible. you can touch, something you can hold in your hand. They both start with T, tangible, and touch. Oh, that's so now I know why. When I'm good in school, you can't touch that good. No. No, that would be silly. No, that's a feeling. But you can touch my pen. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a different good. Exactly. So good is a tangible mm -hmm. item that can be bought. So we've talked about things you need money for or sold. So oh. let's say. We had a garage sale. That's a great example. So you had goods that your mom or your dad had bought at one point, and now they were selling it to get money. Yeah. So somebody else is paying for that good. 
on. So it can be used over and over again. Wow. Mm. Now, so that's so that's about goods. Now we're going to talk about a service. So what do you think of when you hear this word service? Well, when we go to the restaurant and our waiter isn't very nice, my daddy always says that was not very good service. That's a great example. Lydia, can you think of any? I have one. I think like on Sundays when my family and I go to church, they use, oh, let's go to church service. Oh. That's, that's a good one, too. So a service is something that someone else does for you or something that you can go to. So here, if you go to the hairdresser and they cut your hair, the hairdresser is cutting your hair. That's a service. Mm. So it's usually it involves an action, like we've been learning about our action verbs in English and how it means you're doing something. A service is when you're doing something. So like going to church service, the pastor or the priest is providing a sermon. They're mm. providing something that you get, and most of the time you do pay for it. But sometimes you don't have to pay for it. So your parents make you dinner. That's them actively doing something. They're actively at the stove. They're cooking. But do you pay them to make you dinner? No. no. We don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. some coins in my piggy bank. But, oh. Or if you use Monopoly money. you could. Oh, use yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Monopoly money. <laughs> or even, let's look, a teacher like me. That's you. Oh, that's me. Miss Kristen is teaching you social studies. We're learning about social studies and learning about goods and services. Mm. So a service is something somebody gives you. So let's see. So what's a good? It's something you can touch. touch. What's that big it's word called? Tangible. Tangible. Yep. Right here we have tangible. Something you can use over and over again, or it might go away after the first time you use it. Like That's chips. Like chips. Like chips. Like chips. <laughs> They're in your no, tummy. Okay. <laughs> So what's happening in this picture? Can That's a dentist. Me? A dentist. That's a dentist. What's the dentist going to do, do you think? Clean her teeth. She's going to look at her teeth with a mirror. Maybe oh, do, an, yeah. maybe do, do an x-ray. Too. Sometimes they'll put the big <gasps> in your mouth. pieces in your mouth. Oh, and, they'll and you can't them. talk. So is that something the little girl can touch? Is that something no. she, can, she can use over and over again? Is that something she can She has to pay her? for it. Her mommy has to pay yeah, for it. A That's lot right. of money, probably. Yeah. So now let's think. So we have our two words. So we have good and we have service. What do you think this is? It's a service. It's a service. Yeah. yeah. It's a service. Yes. Going to the dentist is a service that you have to pay for. Yeah. You're right because, you see, the dentist, is providing the little girl with a teeth cleaning. Yeah. So that's something she's giving to the little girl. So that would be a service. Let's see if I can actually move that here. Did that work? Yay! That works. Okay, that's great. I'm going to do a little bit of a quiz. <gasps> We're going to see uh -oh. if you guys really know what a good is versus what a service is. So, Allison. Oh, okay. Hmm. What is a good? So we have four options. Is a good volunteering? Is a good helping others? Is a good a tangible item that can be bought and sold? Or is it work done for others for pay? Hmm. So good is something you can touch. Remember that big word? Yeah. Tangible. Yay! Yay! Good job. Good awesome word. Oh, you. So Ooh. now, so I have this list of pictures. Yeah. And we have two columns. We have a goods mm -hmm. column and we have a service column. So I'm going to start out with the first one. I'm going to give you guys each your turn to figure out what some of these pictures, if they're a good or if they're a service. Okay. So what oh, I'm, I'm gonna ready. Choose. I'm going to choose the car. Now, so what, what do you think a car is? You buy a car. You do. You have to buy lots of money yeah. with a car. Yeah, cars are expensive. So do you think a car is a service? Is no, that no, because you buy the car. It's tangible. You can touch it. There's our big words. Yep, so that would be in our goods. Yay! Uh -huh. I want to go. Okay, Allison, you come up and you pick a picture. Um, so I'm going to pick.
okay, God's a firefighter. He's putting out a fire, and that's a service. And why is that a service? He's going to do it for someone to help them. That's right. So it's a service. Yay. Great, Lydia, your turn. I'm going to pick banana. Yum. And banana is good because when I go to the supermarket with my mommy, she always buys bananas. Yep, and that's something you can use once. And then you and go that's back. It. And it's all gone. Like, it's all gone in your tummy. <laughs> but you can go back and buy more. So yes. it's something you can buy over and over again. Some of these goods can have a service that goes with them. So let's look at our car. Mm-hmm. Do, do your mom and dad ever have to take the car to get fixed when it breaks or your tire oh, goes flat? Oh, yeah. That, too. So, wait. But then... So then what are we going to do with this? Well, that's going to that's gonna stay in goods. But if we yeah. had another picture? Maybe if there's a person working on the car, oh, it's yeah. over there. Oh, so yeah. then let's look at our banana. So if you think oh. of the people who work at the grocery store, that would and if be they were putting service. the bananas away, that would be a service. Okay, so I have this table over here. We have a bunch of different stuff on this table. Ooh. Now you're going to tell me if this stuff is a good or a service, and you're going to tell me why. Okay. Oh, okay. Who wants to go first? Me. I'll try. Okay, Lydia. I think, I think the book is a good because you buy it. The bookstore. Yeah, the bookstore. So I think that's it's a good. Right. Now can we, that's right. Now can we think of a service that will go with the book? The library. The library, they provide you with people who sometimes read the book. We have our librarian here at school. Yeah. Yeah. They can read the book. Very good. Okay, Allison, your turn. This is a silly one. This is an apple. There's a picture of that one. It's a good. Is it real? No, it's pretend. Oh, that's that's silly. That's a pretend apple. Well, you buy it at the store, and you can eat it and use it over and over again. Yeah, and a service for the apple would be like when they the grocery store person, yeah, the grocery mm-hmm. store people, or someone who works in an orchard, and they pick oh. the apples to bring to the grocery store. And we go apple picking on that field trip one time. That was fun. That was the beginning was of the fun. year. We're gonna look at these pictures, and you're gonna come up and you're gonna tell me if it's a good or a service. And then we're going to touch the picture, and it's going to flip over with the right answer. <gasps> oh, I can't so wait. Cool. All right, so who wants to go first? Me, me. Hey, Lydia. Okay. So we have this first picture. What's happening in the first picture? That's a barber shop. And what's he doing to the little boy? He's cutting his hair. So do you think that's something the little boy is, that's tangible that he can hold? Or is it something the barber's doing for him? That's a service, like the dentist example one that we did. Yeah. Okay, let's flip it. Great job. Okay, Allison, your turn. My turn. I want to do these. These look so oh, yummy. Oh, the cupcakes. So, I need these at my birthday party. So is that something you can have? Or is that yeah, something you, someone provides you? You can have it. But my mommy provided it for me. But we're just looking at the cupcakes themselves. So what do you think just the cupcakes are? Mm. Goods. Okay. Touch and it. they're good. Yeah, yeah they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. Yay! Yay! Oh, the last one. So who's this? That's a mailman. The mailman. That's a mailman. What does the mailman do? He gives you he gives mail. mail. He does give mail, and he brings your mail to from you. From Santa, yeah. He brings mail from Santa. And if there's packages, sometimes <gasps> he leaves them on your oh, door. Yeah. So he is giving you something, but is that a good or a service? Well, that's a tricky mm-hmm. one. We have to think about that. I think it's a service because he's doing something for oh, us. He's oh, bringing right. us our mail. Yep, let's think. This is one of our action words. So he's walking to the mailbox and he's delivering mail. Oh. So I'm going to say, I think that's a service. 